Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I would 
would like to introduce Captain Jonathan Picker, our Senior Naval Science Instructor. Good evening, cadets. Good evening, Good evening, sir! Good evening, board members, Dr. Prime, Dr. Cameron, family and friends. Your Rough Rider cadets have had an exceptional year, and I want to thank you for joining us this evening. The cadets you see before you have grown in many ways throughout the year. Their devotion, commitment, and dedication to their shipmates, past and present, have been inspiring. When I joined the Port Angeles High School team at the beginning of the school year, I had no idea that I'd be working with such a wonderful cadre of cadets and staff. I have been in awe of their many achievements and their willingness to help others. I am very proud of the people they are becoming, and I can't wait to see how they mature in the years to come. The ceremony you are observing this evening will highlight some of the many accomplishments as a unit and as individuals. They have made considerable sacrifices of their personal time throughout the year, and it has been impressive to see how willing they are to make the extra effort. I know that their commitment has not been possible without your wholehearted commitment, and I want you to know that our many accomplishments would not have been possible without your support. You can be proud of the positive example our cadets have made on our community and our school. Their generosity and good nature exemplifies what is best about our youth, and you should be confident that our future is in good hands. I want to emphasize that the unit's success this year has been a team effort and couldn't have been possible without the support of our community. Special organizations, administration, staff, parents, teachers, and the cadets themselves. Some of those organizations that have made this year a success that I'd like to publicly thank are the Olympic Peninsula Chapter of, the, of MOA, the Mount Olympus Detachment of the Marine Corps League, the Navy League, the VFW, and the Olympic chapter of Sojourners for contributing financial support to the cadets in support of operations, leadership training, competitions, and scholarships. The many organizations that came today will be named as they present their medals to recognize the cadets for their accomplishments. And to the Parents Association, who make all our activities, fundraising, and events possible. And of course, to the parents and guardians, you cannot produce great children without great parents. On behalf of a grateful unit, we thank you. I would now like to introduce Dr. Cameron, our principal, who will say a few words before the ceremony. Thank you, Captain Baker. And this really is a distinguished unit, an outstanding unit. And uh, I would like to uh, really speak to some of the significant improve, uh, improvements in all categories as evident by their determination and long and arduous hours before and after school. And here are just some of their accomplishments. A graduation rate of 100% for the seniors. This unit helped raise over $15,000 and went to the NGRGC booster program that funded competitions, field trips, and a thousand dollar donation to the Captain Joseph House. There's, they have performed over 2,200 hours of community service, participating in the Toys for Tots campaign, support the local Senior Citizen Center and Senior Olympics, Feed the Children, Wounded Warrior Project, supported community emergency response drills, numerous color guards and honor guards for the community. As members of the Northwest Drill and Rifle Conference, all teams, drill, color guard, physical fitness, and air rifle consecutively placed in the top three standings at all meets. Rough Rider Company finished first overall in our division and second overall in our region. Specific accomplishments are drill team, third place in regionals, and second place in division. Color guard, one and two, second place and first place in regionals, second place and first place in division. Physical training, third place in regionals, first place in division. Rifle, third place in regionals for precision, and second place in division. 
This unit has also had several opportunities to explore life outside Port Angeles High School through four underway periods aboard the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Adeline. Cadets learned about U.S. Coast Guard activities, piloting, navigation, and line handling. U.S. Coast Guard damage control training, classroom, and hands-on training. They also had a visit to the University of Washington NROTC unit to explore college and scholarship options, and a visit to the Boeing Air and Space Museum. They have been a very, very busy and involved unit. But I don't know if I need to tell you that. I'm sure you're all aware. This unit has also received an outstanding rating with honors for our academic annual military inspection and received the U.S. Navy's highest honor for a junior ROTC unit. The Navy Distinguished Unit for the eighth consecutive year. The students in this unit are truly distinguished. And I would like to thank the parents for their support in sending their students to us. I would also like to thank Captain Pickard and Master Chief Perry for their dedication and sense of purpose for our students in the NGRTC program. You are all outstanding. Thank you. Thank you for, for allowing me to speak this evening. So um, I hope you'll please excuse my departure. I have a concurrent uh, event, another high school event as, as well this evening. So, Captain, um, yeah. Master Chief Perry. Jennings, the commanding officer of Rough Rider Company. This is the eighth consecutive year Port Angeles High School NGRTC unit has been awarded the U.S. Navy Distinguished Unit Award. The award is based on annual competition among all NGRTC units across the country. Congratulations, Rough Rider Company, on a job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now transition to the individual award portion of our ceremony, where cadets deserving special recognition will be recognized. Cadets Dusty Lucas, Ashley Reed, and Cheyenne Pope, front and center. Commander Ron Kirkland will now present the Military Order of World Wars Medal of Merit, Senior Plaque, and Cadet of the Year Certificate on behalf of the Military Order of World Wars. Cadet Dusty Lucas is receiving the Medal of Merit in recognition for exceptional contributions to Rough Rider Company. Cadet Ashley Reed Cadet Ashley Reed is being presented with the senior plaque. It is presented to a graduating senior in honor of faithful service. <laughs> Cadet Cheyenne Pope is being presented with the Cadet of the Year Award for Rough Rider Company. Cadets Robin Bunch and Nathan Bott, front and center. Commander Lori Gilchrist is representing the Olympic Peninsula Chapter of the Military Officers Association of America. I will present the awards on their behalf. MOAA was originally founded as a retired officers association on February 23rd, 1929. It became MOAA in January 2003. MOAA is a national organization of individual members 
were drawn from the seven U.S. Uniformed Services. The MOAA NGRGC Medal is used to recognize outstanding cadets who have demonstrated exceptional potential for military leadership. These cadets must also be in good academic standing and demonstrate a high degree of loyalty to the unit, school, and country. Cadets Bunch and Bach are receiving the Meritorious Leadership Medal for superior leadership to the unit. Cadet Ian Ferrer, front and center. Commander Gilchrist is presenting the Gilchrist Medal to the cadet who has provided exceptional community support throughout the year. This award comes with a $100 donation to the cadet's favorite charity. Cadet Ferrer has chosen Toys for Tots, sponsored by the Marine Corps League, as his charity. $1,500 check to the unit to help with Leadership Academy for this summer. qualities, military bearing, and excellence. Cadet Christian Soderbeer, front and center. Mr. Tom Herwer is presenting the JRTC Enhanced Outstanding Cadet Medal on behalf of the Sons of the American Revolution. This award is presented to a cadet who wrote the best essay for the John Paul Jones chapter on how the JRC program makes a cadet a better American citizen. <laughs> cadet Maverick Jennings, front and center. Mr. Tom D'Angelo, on behalf of the Scottish Rite, is presenting the Scottish Rite Medal to Cadet Jennings for superior demonstration of Americanism by deeds or conduct during participation in extracurricular activities or community projects. Cadet Jesse Calvert, front and center. Mr. Tom D'Angelo, on behalf of the National Sojourners, is presenting the Sojourners Medal to Cadet Calvert for patriotism to country and unit by deed or conduct.
Mr. D'Angelo also presented a check to Rough Rider Company in the amount of $250 from the Olympic chapter of Sojourners. Thank you, Mr. D'Angelo. <laughs> Cadet Jordan Johnson, front and center. American Veterans Medal is awarded to Cadet Johnson for exemplary personal appearance and attributes of initiative, dependability, sound judgment, and self-confidence. Cadet Ashley Reed, front and center. Mr. Ken Sweeney of the Navy League is presenting the Theodore Roosevelt Leadership Medal for Outstanding Leadership to Cadet Reed. The Navy League, the Navy League was founded in 1902 with the encouragement of President Theodore Roosevelt, the 22nd President of the United States, for who this award is named. The Navy League Leadership Medal was established to honor those who best exemplify President Roosevelt's values of energy, spirit, competition, and fair play. Cadet Christian Sotomayor, front and center. Captain Picker, on behalf of the Reserve Officers Association, is presenting the JRTC Medal to Cadet Sotomayor for outstanding service. Cadet Cade Levine, front and center. 